Hey y'all. What's up with you? Hope all is well. We're going to get right into it. Okay. See what spirit wants you to know. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay. Shadow side. Dark night of the soul with regret and repression. Yeah. Somebody was, you know, caught up in their own dark night. This person was operating out of their shadow side. Um, this person is in big regret for not um, pretending not to see certain things that was actually happening. Um, also, projecting projecting their shadow onto you or this connection. This person is in heavy regret. Um, there's a lot of emotions about this, yeah. I feel like this person didn't understand this connection, but now they see this connection as family, your family, home, commitment. Or this person could have had a family or home, and they could have thought that you were trying to break that up at one point. This person didn't know what this connection was. There's a lot of regret here. Yeah, look, as soon as I said that, reflection and projection, okay? This person had to take some time to really clear their energy and focus on themselves. Because they were definitely in a dark place. And they were projecting it onto you. Um, Could have been stuff that happened within their family and stuff like that. But um, I feel like this person has been doing work on themselves with the self-care energy or this is what they're needing to do they're needing to to take time to really pay attention and um look at look thoroughly at everything that has happened in their life so this is why this person could be feeling um you could be thinking this person is closed off guarded or resistance i feel like they were in this energy for a long time some of them could be now but here go here come a tower it's going to happen unexpectedly to shift things to complete a cycle okay what else yeah it was one connection is is over what it had to yeah remembering and awakening with rose tennis glasses um spirit had to awaken this person spirit had to send in different towers for for all parties invo involved that was trying to stop or block a divine connection and this person is now feeling nostalgia Thinking about the past, thinking about um, things that were said and done in the past, okay? And this person is really, like, kind of kicking themselves. But Spirit is trying to help this person to recognize it was just lessons. Um, they're starting to see that they were pro projecting onto you. They were mirroring their insecurities and fears onto you. And you were showing them how to heal it but I don't think they took it like that at first because you are literally a walking mirror so when you first met this person or even all throughout the connection um if this person wasn't in align with his his or her higher self or wasn't ready to really receive who you are everything that you were reflecting to this person is seen negative because all that they can see from you is their own reflection, their own shadow side, even if you were coming off light. And it could have made this person feel like you thought that you were better or it was all types of things. I just feel like this person really misunderstood you and they regret that. They now look at you as their family. They had to complete a cycle. It was a tough cycle. A storm could be significant. Um, a lightning storm, that is an indication um, that will give you some type of confirmation that Things are now moving forward and the cycle had to end. This person was resisting. Now all they do is think about you. Think about how they, I just got how they messed up. Look, doubt, lack, doubt and lack came out in reverse. This person is no longer doubting it. This person is a believer of your energy. They believe you now. Like, I feel like they believe you. 
Yeah, they were listening to the wrong people. They want to reunite with you. Give me two more, Spirit. Uh-oh. Separation. Longing. Wish fulfillment. Guilt and sabotage. Let me put that right there. With new beginning, Ace of Wands, and overall energy is chemistry, passion, epiphany, breakthrough, and assistance from the spirit spirit guides. Also, detachment and cold, so you could feel like they are cold, being cold or standoffish, or they could feel like this is you. But this just means you just detach from the situation and you allow one spirit to bring this into fruition. But yes, yeah, it's, it's major tower energy here that had to happen. Multiple towers had to happen, okay? For the first towers had to shut down anything that no longer serves. Um, anything that's um, not solid is getting torn apart. Next tower is bringing in the epiphany, um, the clarity, the sudden realizations about which direction where they supposed to be or what what is they doing right now something is definitely happening to shift things into that wish fulfillment and this person does feel like y'all got a lot of chemistry and they're very passionate about this connection they miss you they want to they reminisce about about um reuniting with you and how it would be yeah it's a sudden breakthrough here and spirit has been helping this whole time okay Remember to take a rest if needed. Remember to take a rest if needed and trust right now that divine timing is happening. Like spirit is giving you everything that you want. You're getting everything you want. You want to know why? Because you deserve it. You deserve it. Um, for some of you, you may have had to walk away from this person and they're kicking themselves about that. It's just a lot that happened. Like they just wish they made better choices. This person is no longer in that that energy of like fear and doubt and, and feeling like they're not worthy because they've been working on themselves while y'all been in separation. This person now view you as their wish fulfillment. What's this guilt sabotage and then ace of fire, new beginning? They feel guilty about messing up a new beginning, the new start with you. Yeah, nine of wands. This person is in the energy of could be feeling like, why me? Why is this happening to me? With their hand, their head in their lap. Why is this happening? Spending a lot of time of alone, trying to get back on um, balance, get back in balance. Okay, what else? Okay, what else? One more. Okay. All right. Uh oh. Oh yeah. This person is definitely taking time. I feel like they're they're taking the time to um go within. Okay. We did have the hangman fall on the hermit. So I definitely feel like this person had to um see things from a different perspective, and I feel like they finally do. This is why they want this new beginning. Um, I don't feel like this person is going to give up on this new beginning. They're trying to figure it out. So they went within this time. I feel like they listened to you. I'm getting they listened to you. Something that you may have said before and it may have went, went in one ear and out the other at first. But now thinking back at it, being as though they have more of a clearer understanding, the rose tinted glasses are off now. They understand what you said and it make a lot more sense now. They regret not listening to you. They regret being closed off and standoffish. Um, mm -hmm. pretending that certain things didn't even happen, okay? They know that they got, they have to face the truth. They can no longer resist it because re resistance, the more that they don't face the truth, the more resistance happen in their life. They feel like they're going against the current. Yeah, this person is now single. They're single and they're wanting to come towards you. You could be in this queen of wands energy very confident and brave um very magical beautiful abundant or sexy seductive um the queen of wine gets a bad rap from some readers 
Um, but the Queen of Wands is actually a major part of being an Empress, okay? When she's in the upright. And she is in the upright. What's this storm? What's this tower? Unexpected and shadow side. Yeah, like they were afraid that you, like if you would have got to know the real them or something like that, that you wouldn't like them. But I feel like you are very mature and spiritually you know that it's both sides. You are both um, light and dark, okay? But it's all about what you feed the most. So I feel like you understand this person and you will love them regardless. Y'all have y'all have an understanding, um, a quiet understanding. This person definitely was wearing a mask, okay? King of Pentacles could be a um, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this person wants in the beginning. Ace of Wands out here twice. Will of Fortune. Yes. Yes. Five of um Five of Pentacles, the hangman with the page of wands. Y'all coming out of a cycle of feeling stuck. Feeling like you they don't have enough or not worthy of having a family with you or something like that. They didn't feel worthy and it's a cycle complete. Yeah, they were in a situation where they really felt stuck, but now they see things from a different perspective. This person could be wanting to communicate that to you. They could be wanting to express it to you. That, you know, they closed out a cycle. They changed. This person could even be watching with, watching their words more because they realize in certain things that they speak comes true. Especially the more y'all become in alignment with these memories. This is Six of Cups energy. That's... um. Nostalgia, but the high priestess, knight of cups, queen of cups, ace of cups, ten of pentacles, two of wands. They're making a plan to come towards you. They feel like you are, um, they feel like you are their, um, family, their lifelong legacy. Um, they want to build. Um, generational wealth with you, um, long-term commitment with you. Um, this person has so much love to give towards you. Like, they have so much love for you. This person also feels like um, you're psychic. <laughs> um, like, because, like, how you be knowing certain stuff that you be knowing? But this person is also now learning to trust their intuition. They've been keeping this a secret long enough, okay? Their love, they've been trying to keep their love a secret. But with this Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups, they can no longer deny this love. They want to express this to you. You could be this queen of cups or in that or in that energy. This person could be younger than you or just have more of a younger personality um, or something. When it comes to love, they're just starting to like mature emotionally is what I'm getting. But they have so much love that they want to give. It's overflowing. They know that... They could trust their heart with you. They know that you'll catch it. As their heart is falling, you'll catch it. This person is planning to come towards you. What else? What else? What else? The sign under wish fulfillment. Y'all, you gonna be so happy when this person comes in. They've been longing for you, missing you. I feel like you miss them too. Um, I feel like you both maybe imagine how life is going to be with each other and things are literally starting to like show up. It's starting to appear, starting to come into fruition because you prayed um, for some of you a long time for this. Yeah, three of cups, some type of celebration, three of pentacles. Yes, there's a celebration that's about to happen. <laughs> Y'all going to be celebrating very soon. I'm getting, like, cheers in and just being happy to be around each other. Like, it's going to probably feel like y'all never even left each other. That's how it is when you're with your, like, best friend, when you talk to your best friend. You know, if y'all haven't talked in a long time and y'all get back connected, it's going to feel like y'all never even really left. It's just playing catch up. But this person see themselves in a partnership with you, okay? With the sun card, three of pentacles. And you make them happy. They know that you are everything that they want. This person has grown a lot. This person has matured. This person now um, is ready to take accountability with this hangman, a sword. 
um, being able to see things from a different perspective. We got the Wheel of Fortune out here with the Ace of Wands. This is a brand new um, beginning, and it's very passionate. This person's passionate about it, um, and it's inevitable. This is a major change, a major shift that's under the tower energy with the storm and unexpected and dark night of the soul. Yeah, there has been a complete major shift in this connection. So we're at this point, just open up your heart to receive it. There's a lot happening. Some of you can feel a little antsy or feel like a little anxious and stuff like that because you know that something is about to happen. So just keep your heart open to receive and keep trusting. Don't let them um, dark thoughts creep in. Okay, tell yourself like, nope, I know everything is happening for me because it has to. It must. <laughs> okay, yes, don't believe the lies. Take time to heal and rest, okay, while certain endings is happening so new beginnings can happen, okay? This person does love you. So if you question, if there's a question of my love, you got it. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what do you say? It don't be long. To anyone but you. There's a question of my heart. Yeah. Um. Cause baby, I've been making plans. Yes, y'all. Okay, so basically, your masculine is saying they on their way. All right. So just give them a little space, a little time, to allow them to just come towards you. I know a lot of them could feel like. You know, they on a shot clock, but it's like, it's not that divine feminine is trying to pressure the divine masculine to do anything. It's just at this point, you know, it's been a long time and I, I, I really get that, you know, y'all both just missing each other. There was just some loose ends that needed to be tied up <laughs> on this masculine end and could be on your end too as well. So say a prayer for yourself and your person. Be kind and gentle to yourself and your person. Namaste.